In this Business Tech Planet video, we'll show you the best dimensions for custom teams' backgrounds, which should have an aspect ratio of 16 to 9, and have a minimum resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. The the best quality, the file type should ideally be PNG, although JPEGs are also compatible. In this video, we'll show you how to make a custom background in Canva, and also using a free web-based image editor called Photopia. To make a custom Teams background in Canva, start from the home page, and click Create a Design at the top. Then head down and choose Presentation, which has a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, and a full HD resolution. To find a background, click Elements in the left menu. Then search for an appropriate image, such as Office Backgrounds. Next to the Photos, click See All. Then browse and select whichever background image you'd like. Now resize the image so it covers the whole canvas. Alternatively, you can head to a website called pixabay.com, where you can find millions of free-to-use images. Search for an appropriate image. Then browse and select an image to use as a background. You can download the image and then upload it to Canva, or you can right-click and select Copy. Then, in Canva, press Ctrl and V, or Command and V to paste. Now resize the image so it covers the whole canvas. When you're done, head up and click Share. Then head down and select Download. Next, click the Select box under File Type, and choose either a JPEG, or a PNG. Make sure the size is at least 1920 by 1080 pixels for full HD quality. Then click the download button. Another simple way to create custom team backgrounds is with a free image editor called Photopia. To do that, head to photopia.com and click file in the top left. Then select new. Set the width to 1920. And set the height to 1080. Then click Create. Now head to pixabay.com, right-click an appropriate image, and select Copy. In Photopia, press Ctrl and V, or Command and V to paste. To resize the image, click Edit at the top. Then go to Transform, and choose Scale from the options. You can now resize the image so it covers the canvas. When you're done, click File at the top. Then go to Export As, and choose PNG. Rename the file to whatever you like. And finally, click Save. That's all for this video. Please leave a comment if this helped, and hit the subscribe button for more Microsoft videos. Also, for all the latest Microsoft news, and free exclusive resources, be sure to click the link in the description, and grab our weekly newsletter.